Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is the Norp Apologue, which is apparently a roguelite strategy clicker game. And I'm very curious to see what this is all about, because I have no idea what I'm looking at from the Steam Store page, but I know I like what I see. So in, we're going to go to see what the heck this is even about. Welcome to the Norp Apologue. You're currently following a Norp. To move the camera, hold right-click or spacebar, and then drag your mouse left to right. Okay. I've done it. To zoom in or out, scroll wheel, page up, page down. Them some tiny norps. The norp you're following is standing next to the Talent Stone, which is one of the many structures in the game. You can hover over most structures to see what they do. You don't have any talent points, so let's move on. Oh no, I want to see! Okay. A big rock. It looks mysterious. Click the rock. Shards came out. It's the main resource of the game, and they're used for great things. Norbs love them, so get some more. You also hold your mouse button down to keep on clicking. Okay, so there's kind of like a built-in auto-clicker, but it's kind of slow. Or we could go... Norbs can use the shard from the rock to make stuff. Okay. My rock! What are they doing? They're grabbing a whole... Okay. Grabbing all kinds of the shards. What the hell are you making? Making a brick? Building unlock the express and the slam club. Wait a minute. <laughs> the shard stash is where all your shards go. If you hover over it, you'll discover that it also allows you to construct a couple buildings if you have enough shards. Hover over a shard on the ground to the left and then click it. If it's close enough, it'll fly into the stash. You got a shard at the top of the screen. You can see how many you have. When you have 10, you can build either the Express or the Slam Club. Either option will help you rid yourself of all this tedious manual labor. Okay, so we can like... Can I just hold down? I can hold down here as well. Oh my lord, we gotta like... Go bring it over. Do we have 10 shards? How much do I have? Okay, it's up there. It's eight. That's right. That should be enough. Right? That's enough. All right, time to build something new. Either the Express, home of the runners who will gather and deliver the shards, or the Slam Club, home of the slammers who generate shards by slamming their heads into the rock. I'm definitely more interested in the Express for right now, but we'll do it. Nice choice. Now, employ a runner. Okay. Runners are the lifeblood of the Norp economy. They ensure that shards get picked up and delivered. Runners will collect shards you don't have to, so you want more of these guys. Keep clicking the rock, and soon you'll have enough shards to buy something else. Perhaps some housing to get some more Norps. The music is good, but it's also loud. You're on your own now. Good luck. I mean, okay. <laughs> I mean, step one, I'll... We'll even we'll bring some closer, because we clearly have a lot of shards. Let's bring it all closer. Yeah, definitely curious to see what that talent tree system is all about over there. So we'll figure that out as we get closer, I'm sure. Oh, this poor this poor one guy. Oh. My music. Go, go, go. All right, good to go. Let's go ahead and build. We need another Norp. So, okay, I'll build the housing first. Norps needs houses. Provides housing for two Norps. Take some time before the Norps are ready to be productive members of Norp society. Some other buildings provide housing, so look out for that. Build more advanced buildings, gain access to new Norps. The crew at the House of Shards have you covered. Unlocks advanced buildings and provides housing for four Norps. It is interesting how... Everything is so... I think it's an on-purpose stylistic decision, but everything is so close to the bottom of the screen. Everything is just happening right down here. It kind of... It makes it... It does make it feel like a little civilization just living on my computer that way, you know? Like, yeah, this is where gravity would take them, right down here, of course. Oh my god, we absolutely have enough for a, a slam club. Alright, 
Manual labor already done. We don't have to do anything else, but I can help speed things up. Norp unlocked a slammer. So there's the runner. Where's my slam house? Where's my slam club? What the hell? There's like just a little guy on there. There's the slam club. Hmm. Build more housing. So it takes some time before they're ready to be productive members of the North Society. We got plus two. Norps are capable of both damaging the rock and collecting shards. I feel like it's about to be that we get... Okay, we got another Norp. Warm-ups. By jumping a few times, the Slammers warm themselves up and prepare to be on the receiving end of unspeakable pain. Plus one damage per jump performed. Okay. Slammers will can now also now meditate before slamming, resulting in shards to fly further. Sure. I'll do that. And we'll go for the, the extra jump speed. Or extra damage on this. Get another slammer. Alright. So do we need another house to get another Norp? Or is it... S wow, okay, you weren't kidding. They fly very far. I guess if we have it flying much further like that, maybe we're cool with only the one guy? I don't know. Alright, so it looks like the next big thing is that House of Shards, but I gotta know what's going on here. Motivation, slammers will not be ridiculed. When run runners go past the halfway point, slammers become furiously motivated and gain the following effects. Bonus damage chance to combo. Strength in numbers. But yeah, we have zero points as of right now. Okay, mountaineers bring a friend when they depart the Coco Cafe. Friends are half as effective at digging. All right, so we're at 32. The overdrive bar, fill it by clicking the rock or flicking shards. When you meet certain thresholds, the multiplier increases. Depletes over time, but some upgrades allow it to be filled automatically. So it seems like if I just do this, we can... Like a little bit of manual work. Little bit of manual work, and we can go ahead and do a little bit of... Multiplying. Got the two times multiplier up in there. God, those rocks go very far. But we're still Norpless. I'll build a new Norp. It seems like we might need one in order to produce more. Or I think it's just that there's nowhere for them to live. So I think it just checks out, makes sense. Okay. We got one. Let's go ahead and make another runner. What's the capacity? Runners can only pick up one, but this upgrade can increase that. I'll just get another runner for right now. So we can get, uh, we got a lot going on on the ground. <laughs> just one big rock. So we'll get ourselves up to the hundred. I want to figure out what the hell that stuff unlocks. Because maybe that's the stuff that helps us with that kind of talent tree. Alright. House of Shards. And also provides housing for four groups at the same time. So hey. That ain't shabby. Did, did that just add on right there? I think that might have. North Propulsion Lab, Coco Cafe, Archery Range, Rock Analysis Lab, Gun versus Rock. Okay, we've unlocked Gun versus Rock. <laughs> okay. Got meditation on. No self restraint provides no gameplay benefits. Spends four seconds focusing pre slam. <laughs> to increase the range. Gotcha. Yep. So 200 is our next kind of bottleneck there. All right, go ahead. I mean, we'll probably increase the um, the capacity. I feel like that makes sense. We definitely have more on the ground than we have in general, but are we going to want another... Let's get a couple more slams. Actually, we got the four houses. Holy moly, that's right. Get the two runners... Yeah, we'll overflow the runners. How about that? Because then we can actually just go over here. This is the easier task to do, for sure, between the two. If I had to pick one that does not take that much uh, skill <laughs> at all, is clicking rock a lot. 
I mean, clicker games generally not going to be the ones that are going to uh, hit you with the old skill thresholds, but it looks like, you know, the Steam page explains that there's at least going to be some kind of, like, building in terms of, like, you have to make a talent build, and that kind of thing is interesting to me for sure. Let's move this all. Come on, gang. Closer, closer, closer. All right, we might, we might, we might be able to get rid of all of it. Go, 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 go. It's very dissatisfying to look at. Doing great. Sometimes helpful messages will appear here. Click them to dismiss. Thank you. I agree. I am doing great. Thank you very much. I, I really am absolutely knocking it out of the park. Uh, so I think we should probably get the archery range. We're going to need four Norps. Oh, shoot. So if I buy two of those, that should be able to give us the, the four Norps. We'll just let some more rocks sprinkle down from the heavens. While we wait for the Norps to show up. What do we build over there? Oh, that's a new house. Okay. One plus three coming. Oh, mama. Okay. Yeah, slowly but surely that fills up up there. We got the two times multiplier. Very much encouraging that kind of like the active woo play there. Okay, do we need another housing? I could get more capacity. Right now, I think we're just kind of fine. I'm waiting for that. The GPL unlocks a world of opportunities. Unlocks bombers. Oh, my goodness. Unlocks mountaineers that will climb the pile and throw shards for runners to pick up. Uh, Norps put their heads together, came up with a neat concept, the bow and arrow to attack it. I mean, sure. Fire arrows. F ice arrows. Okay. I mean, are they going to actually utilize them? There's a trophy up top. Okay, th there they go. They got some bows and arrows. I really want to... Okay. He's stocking them all up. Now he's telling them to go and fire. Oh my! <laughs> oh my God! Okay, so yeah, if I were to guess, I'd say we've got uh, a carrying capacity upgrade in order here, because we definitely pushed a lot into the old, the old rock smashing and such. And again, we can always just do this ourselves. Talents cannot be changed when supplied, but you don't have to apply all your talent points at once. How how do I get one? Gun versus rock. Wait, study the sh the rock and the shards it spills from. I feel like maybe the rock analysis lab would be the one. If we were to take a, a shot in the dark there. could upgrade the amount of Norps that carry and everything like that. The amount of times I've said Norp is frankly staggering. But also it should it should come as no surprise. Norp surprise. Go, 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 go. Collection damage. Wait. <laughs> we got DPS charts? What the Norp? Hey. Boy, howdy. Ooh, look at the DPS chart of my mouse. Killing it. Oh, I'm killing it. So my attack speed can be better than the just normal head smash boys. Hell, it can be better than the arrows too, but that kind of goes in a burst. I'm OP. I don't got no auto clicker on either. Let me let me make that clear. All right, I was just, I got excited. Make a house. How much is it? It's for the cafe, for the rock analysis. It's, it's 480. I could spend like 120. We'll do this by the time, by the time we have a Norp. We'll be right back up there. In fact, we're already back up there. 
Okay, we got the rock analysis lab working on that. I think they're going to be... Yeah, they're going to build it over here. Weak spot discovery. I'm so... I'm still confused on that one. Uh, weak spot appears every two minutes. Can be clicked for 300 damage. Has a range of 0 to 10... Max five weak spots present at a time. The bar under the rock indicates the progress to the next weak spot. I mean, sh sh sure. <laughs> I guess I don't see why not. We could also, like, just focus on, like, getting the arrows. What does that do? Deal 12 fire damage. Cause the rock to ignite, dealing damage over time. Has a range of zero to three, meaning that it's going to drop them right here. If we do that, we're going to probably want to get the throwers. Like if we're if we're getting rocks that just drop right there for efficiency's sake, why'd you get? You can go put this stuff back here. What's up with you? What the norp? Speed. God, the upgrade for speed is pretty hefty. Could just get more housing. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll get the five hundred. We'll, we'll see what that's about. Go 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 go. The fact that some of them can go pretty far, though, does help. Weak spot discovery. Frequency. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, my Norp. All right. We're going to need some uh, some capacity and maybe another runner or 10. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay. So I think that's the weak point generator right there. That doesn't seem... No, it can't be. Prestige. Hold the prestige. Resetting your progress but gives you access to talent points. By increasing your collection rate, this bar will fill up if you accrue talent point when it's full. Progress is kept between prestiges. Oh, I mean, okay. Okay, go, 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 go. I guess they don't have to run. Should I prestige? Already? Is it going to fill up to two? I mean, I'll just say sure. I'm... Prestiging? Okay. It puts that all back in the rock. It gives me talent points. What? The Norp Apolog. Oh god. I see. I see. So we've got the talent- I, I, I should have let it go further. I understand now. But now we can- okay. Strength in numbers. Increase the number- the multiplier by 0.1 for every four employed Norps. You get a bonus snorp every 10 minutes. So, yeah, I don't know if I'd say roguelite, but, like, I see what they're getting at. It's like, it's got the meta progress, but it's just kind of, you know, it's a, it's a clicker game, but I do, I do like it. I think it's a good one. Uh, ignite the jetpacks. I don't know that slammers will not be ridiculed when they go past the halfway point. Slammers will become furiously motivated. Fire damage generates shards that fly much further all the way to this, all the way to the stash. Ooh, that's kind of a fun angle. Uh... With Fire Breath Unlock Slammers, I don't think I'm going to have that. Power of the Sun, palm of your hand. Fire does 2.5 times damage, and it occurs faster. I think let's put our talent points into those, and let's kind of beeline it to the, um... Oh, Jiminy. And we'll try and beeline it over to the, uh, the archery range. I think that's the call. Okay, so we do have to do the TDM once again at the beginning. Go, 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 go. Seems like it started us off with a pretty good chunk at the beginning, though, at the very least. Yeah, definitely. Look at the express going first. I should have definitely let that stuff stack up more. I just got I got excited. I saw talent points. I wanted to press the buttons. We should be able to get back there again, though, pretty quick with this stuff. Like, just look at look at everything on the freaking ground, man. All right, uh, we're gonna need a house. So we'll do that. We've got a runner. 
Okay, we got the one runner. You you do your thing, dude. I'll help you out. I'll help you out, my little buddy. Figuring out when to prestige and tap out is kind of an interesting thing. But yeah, I definitely like the idea of going for a burn build. My question is, like... Are you limited to lock talents when you've allocated a talent point you can apply it to the game talents cannot be changed once applied but you don't have to apply all your talent points at once okay yeah i mean i got you got you there so we got the housing we have two norps we definitely want to get the slam club the come on and slam club house of shards we don't really need that i mean we also have wait hold on we also have the uh the multipliers increase to 2.2 there so that definitely helps archery range at 200 so yeah the more housing the more multiplier in theory heck that's come on now come on now what the norp go go this music is kind of bumping it's it's wild and i love it we're gonna need lots of runners even if we do the uh if we go for the fire build The prestige is charging up already. Go, 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 go. So 200 is what we're going to need. We're going to also need four, uh, four Norps again. Just wanted to make sure we get our, you know, our quality of life set up as well here. I've got no slammers. I could get one. I should get at least one, right? I should have at least, at least one slammer, even if I want to go the archery angle. Which, as far as I'm aware, doesn't require it. Okay, these guys kind of suck. Starting slammer's pretty bad. Alright, 204 norps. So we definitely need one more house. Bare minimum. We'll get the archer going, and then, I don't know, we, we should just... It's pretty... I don't know, tunnel vision to just go for that right now, though. Because it could just be a better idea to get our workflow going nice and clean. Up, 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 before we even worry about anything like that, that could be a call. Seventy three. I definitely think we ignore the slam club and see what we can get up to. That much I know. And at this point, I've already committed. And I definitely can't change my mind. No, sir. Archery range. There it is. So you yeah, have 500. At least we have the archer, so... The clicking is going to be improved there. I think we definitely want to get some more houses. That's kind of a no-brainer. It's going to take a little bit for the archers to show up. The weak point, the rock analysis lab was also crazy. That That's what let us kind of prestige so fast, it seemed like, in the first place. All right, so the archers are almost good. Let's help out a little bit here. This music getting ominous. Definitely need capacity up. Ooh! Woo! That range. So we got 40. I mean, at a certain point, we will want to go back to getting more runners, but I do think we probably, for now, just want to increase their capacity. Seems like the more logical, like, mathematical angle. And then when we have things moving a little bit quicker, then we'll charge up or save up for the 650 for the fire arrows. And utilize that fire build to the extreme, baby. And we'll see just how much that pops off. Hopefully, hopefully it's worth it. Hopefully it's worth the prestige quickly. 2.6 times multiplier? Damage, capacity, etc. of the Norps. Cool. All right. So 
So we won't need more for that. Okay, so we have how many of you? We have six runners with a capacity of five each. Should be good. Run, little ones, run! I do think we can still produce faster than they can bring it back, but... It's definitely starting to pick up. Go, go. If we keep on jamming, we might be able to, like, you know... If we unleash hell further on, it's still pretty efficient. My finger, man. I do wonder how much my my mouse is getting picked up in this. I kind of... The answer is, I hope, more. <laughs> okay. 40 for housing. Being able to get two, two more Norps for that price is really effective. So the procedure is definitely based on our efficiency. So I think that's the thing is... Were we necessarily, like, you know what? I think maybe I actually tapped out at the perfect time, because my efficiency technically looked very good for a bit. Oh, so that's just 650. Because of the uh, the fact that I popped all of the weak points at the exact same time. That made me look very efficient mechanically. When in reality, I was probably just like, you know, it was about to keep going down. So perhaps retroactively, that was a good call. All right. Let's see how this goes. Whoa! Okay! Okay! Okay, man! All right. Uh, we definitely need to just get more of these. Okay, so it's... <laughs> they have a pretty big cooldown, though. I wish I could make another. Look at the rock analysis lab, because, yeah, I mean, now all of a sudden, our efficiencies kind of gotten pretty crazy with it. Propulsion lab. Fall into the rock. The shards don't fall far. I don't really think so. I think the Coco Cafe makes sense. Let's try that out. Let's see, let's see what it's about. The fact that the fire does... It launches it so far, though. It's really nice. So it was... Fire does 2.5 times damage, and fire damage occurs 6 times faster. Fire damage generates shards that fly much, much further, almost all the way to the sash. Runners and the arrow maker want in on the timey-wimey thing that bombers do. Okay. Bombers with time shift impact will propel all the runners and arrow makers. Okay, that's something I don't have right now. After having meditated slammers deal plus three damage for every strike they do in their current combo. Gatling balloon. Ignite jetpacks. So these seem to be... Th the ones on the side, I think, are just things that... Um, we just happen to get anyways. Uh, Hardy Bunch, undeterred by verticality. Earthquakes and shards falling from the sky. They do anything to enjoy the weather up there. Climb and dig the pile. Throw shards down pile for runners. Okay. Double the amount that they dig. Sure. <laughs> oh god, we're up at 3k already there. Jesus! I didn't even notice. Let's increase the speed. The runner speed. Okay. We've actually got a little bit of a problem where even though we're producing a crazy amount via the fire, I don't know how to make them go faster. I also don't know. Fire shatters ice immediately. So it looks like... Let's fire the ice arrows for a second. I feel like that was a mistake. Okay. Ooh, okay. What the hell? 
After four seconds of duration, the ice shatters with two times the damage dealt. Wow, the rock was frozen with the range. Okay, so we want to freeze it. I think we. This is the longest tool tip in the game. <laughs> it says on the bottom. All right. So let's try and freeze it and then we'll swap it over as soon as it's been frozen. Does that mean it's frozen? Nah. I. I. Fire breaks it immediately. I think that's kind of. Yeah, it's disynergistic. That makes it look like the ice is a lot better than the fire, but it's just. It's not going to be. All right, I think we need to get some slammers at this point. We might as well, because clearly our runners are, are going a lot quicker here. I think that the ice is strategically better if, um, if you're running your DPS from something else. Like, if my DPS was from the slam club, it would make more sense to go for the ice arrows than the fire arrows. I just wanted to see what they were. I, I thought that maybe there's a chance we could have them both go at the same time. Let's just get a lot of houses. It's a really good way to speed things up. But yeah, we got the rock analysis lab. I do want to know what gun versus rock is about. We have we could prestige for two points at this point. Okay. Where's the weak point? There it is. Uh. I mean, that's efficiency. That, look, at that's going to go up like crazy. See, this is what I'm talking about. I actually do think it makes sense to tap out after that. Because we're running up our efficiency like crazy. By speeding that up, and the second that we fill this bar up, it's actually going to like and clean up everything from the weak points. It's going to start going down because that's that's based on my collection rate, which one would imagine is about to go down soon. Maybe not though. This fire situation is kind of nuts. Uh, let's get some more of these. Some more housing. Alright. Maybe it can't go down. No, it's going down, see? It's, it's going down, it's going down, it's going up, it's going down, it's going up. It'll go up after our fire attacks and down otherwise. A and D to quickly swap between buildings. That's kind of nice. But yeah, we could prestige get these three points. Because we're otherwise we're gonna bottleneck, aren't we? Like Not necessarily. Like we could always keep going, but the rate of expansion and improvement is theoretically about to go down pretty heavily. More bottleneck by this for sure. I think we turn off meditation, too. Yeah, see, look, at that's fallen. I actually had... The, unintentionally, I had the right call last time. But if the issue, if my bottleneck is production, we want to turn off meditation. It has no gameplay benefit, it says, but it has... But it kind of does. Because they spend four seconds focusing pre-slam to make him go further... But if there's always stuff on the ground, that means we need to speed up production instead of consumption. They do have to run really far, though. That It's a weird one. I don't know if our efficiency is going to be going up or not. I think we... I think we prestige. I think the... Short of saving up all of my weak points again. How many weak points can you have? Also, what's up with the Mountaineer? Are you... Is the Mountaineer doing stuff? I 
there's not really a pile for him to throw from. I feel like maybe the Mountaineers aren't for our build. Like, what is he even doing? Yeah, production's our, our bottleneck for sure. Not even close. If it looks like we're going to go under three, we prestige. We should do a little bit of actual manual labor here ourselves. I think that's part of the problem as well. Got to fill up that meter. Like, if I really want to be efficient, I would have something to do with it, too, you know? But, like... The good news is, look at look at where we're at for, like, how much we... Pre oh, I hit the weak point. Which I'm going to say is actually kind of bad. Okay, hold on. What a satisfy... It's just a satisfying game. Yep. Yeah. Uh, might be able to... I mean, if the Mountaineers can finally do a little bit of something-something, then it's going to all be worth it. Maybe we can get up to four points in this prestige, but I, I'm assuming we should theoretically tap out. Weak spot frequency. Turns out the weak spots have a weak spot, and the weak spot damage is tripled. All right, I'll tell you what. Let's get... Wait, break time. Constant state of fatigue, and they hear Mountaineers that can take breaks. Maybe the runners deserve a break, too. Take a break until the next compression event. When they continue their work, they gain two times increase to their carrying capacity. No. <laughs> we'll get one of those. We'll, we'll upgrade the capacity, or the frequency. Because we could always just keep on getting more and more houses, right? Like, that. There, there's way, there's things we can do. Look at you, Mountaineer. It also seems like, to an extent, whatever you build first gets to be closer to the pile. And I think that that actually has some stuff about as well. I do not want to hit the weak point. I want to see what I can do about efficiency. For one final burst, see if I can make it to four. Okay. Every 1.5 minutes instead of every two, when it's triggered, the overdrive is filled up by the equivalent of five clicks. We'll have to turn down the, uh, the sound effects as we get closer. All right, so how much can we have at a time? That was over... Uh... Every two minutes, you can have up to five at a time. All right. In true idle fashion, I'm going to actually just... I'll, I'm going to pause the recording while staring straight ahead until there's five weak points, and then we'll, we'll go for it. We'll see if we can get to four points. All right, here we go. I'm back. I did nothing except for click the piles to keep this combo meter up. So here's what I'm going to do. We're about to pop that off like crazy. So we're going to kind of go for a... Ah, do we go for break time? The speed up is crazy. I think we just um increase our capacity as much as we can there and get ready to unleash hell. Oh my god. We'll see if we can make it to four. I mean, I guess I could get some houses? I don't know. If we make it to four, that's all I desire. I think I'm just gonna contribute to the pile because it actually looks like we might not. Mm, I think we're good. I think we're good. <gasps> I'm seeing some red. Come on, let's get some arrows going. Please? Yes? Brothers? Norps? Come on, Norps! Get at the fort! 
It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. We're running out of we're running out of the pile. Brothers! Oh my fingers! Go, go, come on. Four. Siege! Go, go, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it! Prestige? I guess this is the gameplay mechanic. You have, it has to hold for a little bit there. There we go. I mean, yeah, the, the, what we would need in order to get to the fifth prestige there for fifth point. No way, dude. Well, let's look at these points here. Okay, then you get six to start with. Oh, interesting. So, yeah, you can... Are these... Okay, those are just what are on already. Norps become empowered by the by inspirations, which allows you to fine-tune your units accord to your talent and upgrade choices. What you can also apply inspirations to your units. I, I'm so curious. Bigger pile, you start with some more Norps, and a passive reclamation occurs less frequently, but at a cost. Five extra Norp. Pile grows twice as tall before compression occurs. Got the buildings already. Directors have notes on how to better generate shards. I don't have any of that right now. The bigger the pile, the bigger the smile. <laughs> the mountaineers throw it at a higher velocity. Hmm. If a total collection per minute is less than 50% of the damage, they get increased capacity. Huh. There can never be enough housing for Norps. Every seventh house you build builds another for free. Bathe in fire, ignite jetpacks. I mean, a, an extra house is like a really good call. Gather bullets. Gatler bullets are regular arrows. So are these, these are ones we can get too, right? Or are they? No, they're not. Okay. So this section we could do because of this. And now we can be over here. And you can always get these, seems to be the implication. After having meditated, <laughs> the slammers do plus three damage. I do kind of want to see what the bomber stuff's about, though. Hits by grenades reduce the time until the next weak spot appearance by three seconds. That's pretty darn good. Bombers with time shift also propel all runners, so that's another kind of like bomber element. What do we got here? Balloon gunner. Mountaineer shards. Sure. We'll apply all that. So do we... Do we actually start with the extra building? We do not. Okay, so the, I think that it increases your first initial, like, little bursts there. Is what it does. We're probably not going to go for another full prestige. I just kind of wanted to look at that a little bit. thought that was kind of interesting. So we come back stronger. More able to succeed, but bada bing, bada boom. Requires at least five mountaineers. Increase the carrying capacity by 10% per active mountaineer. Requires one Zingnorp. Runners no longer need to jump to deliver. 30% if the garden requires the garden to be built. Okay, so there's clearly more houses and more building types that we don't have yet. Because I don't know what a garden is. And I definitely don't know what a Zingnorp is. So there's definitely more going on with that. But we still have the... We still have the fire on. Is that is that right? Did I leave the fire on? Did I leave the oven on? I did. I could have swapped that up. But yeah, I mean, it's an interesting game. I don't know. It's, it's like a very satisfying, like, sound effect, visual kind of idle sort of clicker game. It's got a little bit of like, you know, a little bit of strategy elements in it more than some others that I have played. Like, you kind of have a little bit of a build that you want to work towards to be like, okay, well, if it's only going this far, do I want mountaineers? Do I want runners? Do I want to wear my bottleneck? Do I want them to have more capacity? Do I want... Like, going for it throughout that, I do think it is, uh, it's kind of neat. I'll get a couple of these and just let it run. I think, I think it's kind of kind of neat i enjoy it the music is fantastic the sound effects are great it's just a yeah it's a clicker game with a lot of juice and some neat strategy stuff within i think 
figuring out how to make a build is really cool. I know this is not necessarily the point for many, but like if there was a way to play with like limited choices in each section, I would find that like kind of cool. Be like, well, I want this, that, this, that, this, that, you know, instead of getting everything. You can increase the size of the cursor in the options. Cool. Double click pans, cursor size. You're right. <laughs> I don't need it, but thank you. Either way, frame rate cap. It's neat. That's the Norp Apologue. I'm sure there's many of you who are going to be uh, fans of this one right here. But hell, get it for the music alone, dude. Alas, alas, that's that. That's going to do it here for today. My name is Retromation. Cover indie games every single day, typically with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites, which I guess you could, based off of the Steam Store page, I guess you could look as a um, at a prestige system in a clicker game as a roguelite, I suppose. Uh, it's not what I would necessarily call it, but uh, alas, alas, thank you for watching. Check out the channel. Indies and more every single day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.